Bible says the kingdom of God is not only in where, but in demonstration power. I won't accept a Christianity that has no power. That is not Christ's standard of Christianity. So a man can be anointed with Holy Spirit and not be anointed with power. This end time, you don't just need that voice to be talking to you. You need power. The power is not ability to make people fall down. That is not power. Ability to become solution to our generation is power. God said, let there be light. And there was what? That is power. Until there is light, there is no power. This is a message from Jesus. You want to start knowing the word of God. You want to start reading your Bible. You don't know where to start from. Let me tell you the truth. Start from the life of Jesus. When you start from the life of Jesus, there are many things. It will save you a lot of error. The first kind of sin that can destroy a man is his own sin. They call it the personal sin. A man can sin and then an altar may be speaking against the man. By disobedience, you can sin against God and that sin can become a hindrance. The next kind of sin now, now let's, let's see now, is called territorial sins. A territory can commit sin and those sins can affect an individual. A territory, a city, a nation can commit sin and everybody can share from it. My question for you now, is which sin are we going through today is it your sin or the sin of your territory we can suffer as a result of where we are coming from we can suffer as a result of a, of a community that is faulty there is the last kind of sin that you must be conscious of that can destroy you this has to do with bloodline sins a bloodline can sin and it can affect all to third to fourth generation if you read Lamentation 5 and verse 7, it says, Our fathers have sinned and they are no more. It says, But we bear their iniquity. That means if you don't know how to wage war in this kingdom, you will be suffering despite being a Christian. You are not saved because you are a Christian. You are saved because you know the rule of engagement. Let me tell you, without deliverance and without knowing the rules of engagement, claiming christianity will not help you that you are a good person does not save you from a negative altar many of us are connected to a negative altar to a christian physically there are two kind of altars that people can be connected to today there is god's altar and there is evil altar no one can live on earth without an altar we are living by an altar we are moving by an altar. We are failing by an altar. And we are succeeding by an altar. Nothing moves around on earth without an altar. You are either being controlled or influenced by a negative altar. Or you are being controlled by a positive altar. Which is God's altar. Which one do you belong to? You can know by the kind of patterns that happens in your life. The result of your life is a proof of your altar. Anything can bless you on earth if your altar is good. If your altar is good, anything can lead you to victory. Anything can lead you to breakthrough. Anything can lead you to your destiny. But a politician with a negative altar will leave your office empty and barren. What altar are you connected to? We are successful by the altar that we belong to. And we are failures by the altar you belong to many of us don't know that our lives are being programmed by authors the near success syndrome has been programmed it's not just a mistake i is someone that cost it if not that man if not that woman i will have get the job you're joking there is a programming somewhere as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned there is no mistake there everything is being programmed we make mistake here on earth but they don't make a mistake in the realm of the spirits let me tell you in things of the spirit there is two ways one can be possessed you can be possessed or you can be afflicted you that you are not possessed you think you're happy oh, damn, thank god i'm not possessed you can be afflicted either being afflicted or being possessed two of you are not safe and when they are touching you say oh thank god oh. you see those people that are making them they say i'm a snake thank god i did not say i'm a snake what is the difference between your life and the one who says so because we can see the same patterns of failure in your lives 
We all need deliverance and we need to understand the rules of engagement. The first sign that your life is under a negative altar oh, is that you continue to have next success syndrome. Another sign for you to watch out for as a proof of a negative altar is that you will begin to have short-time success. Most times, barrenness can be a proof of an altar at work because God created every one of us to be fruitful. Fruitfulness in time of giving birth to children, fruitfulness in terms of being able to be productive, fruitfulness in your mind, fruitfulness in your home. There should be fruitfulness. Barrenness is a proof that an altar is at work. You are here today and you may be wondering and say, how come? I am a man of God. This young man is a man of God. But the difference between you as a man of God and me as a man of God is our altar. This altar that I stand now is the altar of the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Men don't go to church by luck. There is an altar that calls men. Christianity is very difficult when your foundation is very faulty. Because the pioneer of that altar, the one that initiated that covenant is dead, does not make the altar there. That is why I tell you it's not a physical kicking down, tearing down. When you do those things physically, they deal with you very well because you don't know the rules of engagement. Abraham set an altar, set an altar, and Abraham died. And when we get to Genesis 28, we now realize that his great-grandson, which was Jacob, Jacob went there and slept on the altar. At that time, the bush has covered it. The earth has covered it. But the altar was very fine. Angels were still using that altar. So, altars don't die. The greatest goal of God is that God wants your spirit to be immersed with his own spirits. You are not supposed to be normal. You are supposed to be yielded to the spirit of God. You must know how to be sensitive in the realm of the spirit. Jesus is in our midst today. Look at Jesus here. Look at Jesus in your midst. Look at Jesus in your midst. Look at Jesus in your midst. Holy Ghost, say the name of Jesus Christ. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Say. The Lord has healed this lady. Fire! Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Show them your report and tell them what the Lord has done for you in seven days. I had an issue of a reoccurring urinary tract infection. I had painful urination and the doctor diagnosed me with overactive bladder. After the prayer, and this was done on uh, the date of the exam was the 26th of the 8th and it says everything is normal everything is normal where the world of a king is there is power fire the name of jesus christ the fire is coming down more to his blood your stomach your heart all poisonous substances hey you you are a problem stop praying and do us a favor stop praying it will help us too many families are being saved. People are being saved. Stop! I know you. Come here! Move like a dragon! Move! Move! Jesus Christ! Why do you tie her like Why do you tie her like that? Huh? Come here! I wanted to confuse her so she don't connect with your prayer. So she, I'm tired. So she don't connect with you. So, I wanted to confuse her. Viewers, anywhere you are, come. Let me pray for you. Wherever you are watching me from right now, this tent is not a barrier. Here we are at the prayer mountain. This is the prayer mountain of the road mount to Jesus International Ministry. And I want to pray for you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the pain you see today, the Egyptian you see today, the Goliath you see today, I say you shall see them no more. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever challenge that surrounds you today, I put an end to it. Those pains, sickness in your body that you are seeing today, I say you see them no more. You see them no more. You see them no more. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your light to rise and shine. Yes, you. Your life as it rise and shine 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your eyes. Let us use the blood again. She's putting on clothes. It's not just your clothes, it can penetrate. It's the blood. It flows from the cross. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. You see this? Am I spraying it on her skin? But the clothes. But it penetrates. There is hotness in the stomach. Serious hotness. Open your mouth. Just open your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Could not do. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning and win today, tomorrow, and forever. My name is Prophet Jeremiah Tsumba. This is my wonderful and lovely wife. I'm Victoria Tsumba. We, we are, are from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. It was a wonderful testimony. Um, when I came here, it's about praying, praying in the morning and in the evening. The Bible said, pray without ceasing. I am encountered face to face with the person of God. The move of God is exceptional. It's something else. I was blessed, especially with the word. I was transformed with the word of God. So the Bible says, Jesus is the body. And when you come here, uh, it's face to face. Experience, oh my god, it's marvelous. 
the presence of God is marvelous. It's amazing. The living God, the God Almighty, is here. The Lord God of hosts is here. The God of T.B. Joshua is here. The God of T.B. Joshua is here. The God of T.B. Joshua is here. I love the service. It is it's like it's not enough. I love the service. I love coming to the mountain. I'm facing discouragement. I have cold and flu, which affect my shoulder, my lower back, even my leg, my breathing. Oh my God, no running, migraine. So, uh, beside those, I uh, have disunity in the family, limitation, stagnation. You know, immediately it touched me. All the sinus, the runny nose, the migraine, the pain in the shoulder, the lower pain, all disappear. The living God lives in him. He's a genuine man of God. He loves Jesus Christ and his work. He loves souls. He loves souls. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's a lovely man. Very humble. I love him so much. I know my life was not the same ever since I partnered with this ministry. Financially, emotionally, I mean, common in the family, the peace, the peace of God that passes all understanding. Everything I've been worried about before trouble because of the uh, discouragement. I mean, I have peace. I have peace. You know, thank you to every one of them. All the leaders, the women in the church, thank you for holding the hand of the man of God. Thank you. They're all very loving. I have the opportunity to be with two of them that have seen us every day. I mean, oh my God, I don't, they're very amazing. They're wonderful, very humble and patient. They have a lot of patience. And I advise them to stay faithful with the Lord. And it's a beautiful city. I mean, it's so clean, very clean. If you love nature, you will love this city. This city is nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I don't have no mosquito bite. I was worried and concerned about that. I have malaria pill from the doctor. <laughs> I don't have to use it. I'm going to throw it away when I get to home. I will tell now. I mean, no mosquito bite. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, for those out there who is not partnering with this ministry, I'm talking to the children of God at this hours and time. This is their hours. This is the season, this is the time to give to the work of God. This is a living church. This is a living church. If you love Jesus Christ, partner with this ministry. I'm talking about World Map to Jesus International Ministry. It's a, the man of God is a child of the living God. He's a genuine man of God and he loves soul. Your money is not going to be wasted. Give to the work of God. If you were never partner before, my brothers and sisters, this is the time, the hour, the season that we're supposed to give to the work of God. And there is no excuse for it. This is a living church. I say it again. This is a living church. This is a living church. And those who want to come here, I advise you to come. If you have any challenging you are facing, Come down here. Come down here. Jesus Christ is waiting for you. Keep watching it. The Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry. And you and your entire household, you are loved by God.
all around the world, you are welcome to Roadmap to Jesus, International Ministry in Jesus' name. Anywhere you are joining us from this morning, we greet you. Good morning and win today. Good morning and win tomorrow. Good morning and win forever. You and your household, you are loved by God in Jesus' name. Wherever you are connecting from, get your heart prepared to receive. If you are ready to receive, Jesus Christ is ready to give. If you are ready to receive his goodness, he's ready to give in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, make sure you share the link with your friends, your families, your loved ones. Tell them it is time for prayer. It is time for fellowship. It is time for communion. Communion by the Spirit. Communion in the power of the Holy Ghost. Every morning here, it is time for us to fellowship together. Here is a place of an encounter. Here is a place of revelation. Here is a place of divine direction. You are about to be instructed in your today's success. You are about to be directed to your place of favor. You are about to be guided to your place of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace for every day. Oh yes, don't get used to yesterday's grace alone. There is a grace of every day. When we come to the presence of God, learn to know that what he gave you yesterday, he has more for you today. He has more, more, more for you today. What he gave you last week, he has more. Prophet T.B. Joshua says something. He said, better is not good enough. He said, the best is yet to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you share it with your loved ones. Share it with your family members. And tell them it is time to receive today's grace from Jesus. Today's grace from Jesus. A grace that can make your life to be at ease. A grace that can come upon you and swallow all the negative news. And turn them into good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. Paul said all things work together for our good. That is a grace. Grace that can make all things. You went late. You are not qualified. Could not meet up to the expectation. And yet it turned out to be for your good. That is that grace. That grace. Today grace. It is a grace that comes from the Lord. All things will work for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now begin to tell Jesus. Thank you. I am here this morning in your presence. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Just tell him thank you first. Tell him thank you in order of priority. Thank you. Your thank you, Jesus, must go ahead of you. Tell Jesus thank you. Once again, we are in your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are in your presence. We are in your presence. We are here for you, Jesus. Come and do what you do. We need the moon. I am here for you, Jesus. Come and do what you do. I need a move. I need a move. A move means I need your grace. I need a move in my health. I need a move. In other words, I need your grace in my health. I need your grace in my family. I need your grace. I need your grace. I am here for you, Jesus. Come and do what you do. I need the moon. I need the moon. I need the moon. When God moves, you are upgraded. When God moves, you are transformed. When God moves, you are lifted. When God move, you are transformed. I need the moon. But I'm moving my life, moving my career, moving my destiny, moving my destiny. I am tired of this current level. Father, move, Lord. Move, Lord. Let there be a move by the Spirit. Let there be a move by the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, I want us to pray. And I want us to open our lips and begin to ask Jesus. Father, upgrade me by the Spirit. 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 I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. My career need an upgrade. My marital life need an upgrade. Everything about me need an upgrade. Father, I'm tired for this current level. I need an upgrade by the Spirit. I need an upgrade by the Spirit. 
Open your lips and tell Jesus, upgrade me this morning. Upgrade me this morning. Upgrade me. Upgrade me, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Upgrade me by your spirit. Upgrade me. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. Turn it into prayer this morning. Make sure you are talking to your heavenly father. I need an upgrade this morning. I have come into the presence of God. I need an upgrade. Financial upgrade, spiritual upgrade, oh, emotional upgrade. I don't want to stay in this current level. Current level of my weaknesses, current level of my challenges, current level of my difficulty. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, turn it into prayer right now. Father, I need an upgrade. God's time I need an upgrade. My health need an upgrade. My ministry need an upgrade. Everything around me need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I refuse to remain in this current level. I refuse this current level. This is not my resting place. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 said, Arise and depart. Arise and upgrade. Arise and be lifted. This is not your resting place. This is never your resting place. God never destined you to remain in that position. I know the position is good, but better is not good enough. Better is not good at all. It's not good enough. The best is ahead. You need to be upgraded to the best. You need to be upgraded to the best. Father, I need an upgrade. 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 Begin to ask Jesus to upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you maritally. Upgrade you financially. Upgrade you in your spiritual life. Many people's spiritual life are so low. So low. So low. And you are saying, man of God, I cannot hear God. I cannot dream and remember. You need an upgrade. You need an upgrade. At that level of your spiritual life, you cannot remember your dream. You cannot remember your dream. You cannot. At your level of finances, you cannot serve God with, with, with confidence. No. Your heart hardship your poverty will not allow you to serve god well you need an upgrade from hardship you need an upgrade from poverty you need an upgrade from stagnation stagnation is a proof that you are not moving forward oh i need an upgrade lord i need an upgrade by the spirit father upgrade me upgrade me lord upgrade me lord upgrade me lord upgrade me lord make sure you are praying are you praying viewers are you praying pray i refuse to remain in this level I need an upgrade by the Spirit. I need an upgrade by the Spirit. I need an upgrade. Upgrade out of my weakness. Many are falling into their weakness. Temptation here and there. I will not, I will not lie again. Ah, you said it last week, but this week you lie again. I will not fornicate last week. I will not fornicate again. But you did it again. You did it again. You need to be upgraded out of that weakness. You need to be upgraded out of that weakness. You need to be upgraded out of that shame. You need to be upgraded out of that limitation. You need an upgrade by the Spirit. You need an upgrade by the Spirit. You need an upgrade by the Spirit. Father, upgrade me. Upgrade me, Lord. 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 I will not rest in this current level. I will not settle in this current level. I will not settle in this current level. Current level of your wisdom, this is not the best. This is not the best. God can still upgrade your wisdom. God can still upgrade your knowledge. He can still upgrade your strength. He can still upgrade you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need an upgrade in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. Make sure you turn it into prayer. A serious prayer this morning. Father, upgrade me, Lord. Upgrade me, Lord, from where I am to where you want me to be. Upgrade me from where I am right now to where you want me to be. Father, upgrade me. Upgrade me in the name of Jesus Christ. Upgrade me in the name of Jesus Christ. Even our system electronically they need an upgrade one can be outdated one can if you stay in one level for 10 years you are already outdated if you stay in one financial level for 10 years you're already in trouble if you stay in one marital level for 10 years 10 years the same way you and your husband used to argue 10 years ago 10 years later you are still arguing no there was a problem there was a problem you can't remain in that level you can't remain in that level even plants grow, they upgrade, they upgrade, they upgrade, they upgrade. Animals upgrade, they upgrade, they upgrade. Human beings upgrade, we upgrade in age. How come you not upgrade? You need an upgrade in your finances. You need an upgrade in your spiritual life. You need an upgrade, upgrade in your relationship with God. Father, I can't remain in this level. I need an upgrade, Lord. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. Father, upgrade me, Lord. Upgrade me, Lord. Upgrade me, Lord. Upgrade me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now I pray for you I pray for you the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord come upon Elijah there is a hand that can upgrade men a hand must come upon you 
to upgrade you. Nothing upgrade itself. There is always something. Something. Fertilizer, the soil, is what upgrade the plants. The hand of the Lord is what upgrade men and women. Right now, I stretch the hand of the Lord upon you. I stretch the land of, of, of God upon you right now. Anyone watching me, and you have been stagnated for many months, stagnated for many years, stagnated for many decades, right now by the spirits, that hand that come upon Elijah, he was upgraded. He ran faster than a chariot. Have you seen a human being running faster than a chariot? No, when you are upgraded, you can do that. It takes an upgrade. It takes an upgrade to do that. It takes an upgrade. It takes an upgrade for a man to be, to be faster than a chariot. For a man to be faster than a chariot, it takes an upgrade right now by the hand of the God, by hand of God by hand of God the hand of the Lord is coming upon you right now receive that hand of God receive that hand of God receive that hand of God for your upgrade for your upgrade heavenly touch 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 for your upgrade this morning for your upgrade that hand is for your upgrade there is a hand that come upon a man and speed come upon your life. Speed come upon your life. Speed come upon your family. Speed come upon everything. Right now, I stretch that hand to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The right hand of God is power. I say receive a touch for your upgrade. Receive a touch for your upgrade. Receive a touch for your upgrade. Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. This touch is for your upgrade. This touch is from your upgrade. This touch is for your upgrade. Right now, receive a touch. 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 Receive a touch for your upgrade in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of you, you are due for promotion. But yet, government does not want to promote you. Oh, you are due for promotion. You have been due to be promoted to the next level, to the next degree. But yet, yet, the promotion is not coming. Right now, I stretch my hand. Ah, that hand that come upon Elijah, that hand that come upon Elijah is coming upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, I have seen an upgrade being corrupted. When you carry your laptop and you are doing an upgrade, it can be corrupted by it can be corrupted by network. It can be corrupted by many things. Ah, someone's someone's upgrade can be corrupted in this room. Right now, I pray for you. Any demon that want to corrupt, any demon that want to interfere with your upgrade, demon that say no, you will not go forward. No, you will not enter your sabbath no you not enter rest that demon that want to corrupt the upgradation of god in your life that want to corrupt it right now by the fire of the holy ghost all evil spirits that does not want you to be upgraded all evil spirits that will not allow you to be upgraded right now receive fire receive fire receive fire holy ghost fire in the name of jesus christ fire in the christ fire in the christ an upgrade can be interrupted. There are many things that can interrupt an upgrade. By now, you're supposed to have been lifted. By now, you're supposed to have been blessed. Something interrupted it. Something interrupted it. Right now, every demon, every demon, every demon interrupting your upgrade, interrupting your upgrade, interrupting your upgrade. God wants to raise you. God wants to bless you. But demon say no. Never, never will not allow you, will not allow you to have peace, will not allow you to have joy, will not allow you to rest. Oh, right now, I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every demon that is interfering with your upgrade, demon interfering with your growth, demon interfering with your peace, demon querying you, right now, receive fire. Holy Ghost, fire, the name of Jesus Christ, fire, not Jesus Christ, fire, 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 not Jesus Christ, every interrupting demon interrupting demon at the point where your boss said no this is your promotion letter here comes an accusation accusation from nowhere at the point where people are already thinking your leaders are thinking on how to award you and here comes an ugly mistake that is an interruption every demon that want to interrupt every demon that want to interrupt every demon that wants your weakness to be exposed before you are blessed before you are lifted right now command that demon I command that demon by the spirit receive fire. Holy Ghost, fire the Lord is Christ. 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 Fire. Fire the Lord is Christ. 
I command fire upon them right now. I command them fire upon them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, Paul said, I desire to come to you once and again. He said, but Satan hinder me. I desire to go and bless someone. I desire to go and pray for someone. I desire to go and lift someone. I desire to go and rescue someone. And Satan hinder me. Do you see Satan interrupted? Uh, Satan was not destroying Paul. Satan was hindering Paul so that those people will not be blessed. Oh yes, Satan can be fighting, fighting your boss so that he will not remember you. Oh yes, Satan has right. He has strategy of interrupting. Many of you, by now, you have been promised many times. Don't worry, I will bless you. Don't worry, I will lift you. Don't worry, we will do it for you. Don't worry, the little, what is it? We, is it not promotion? I can do that for you. Come tomorrow. Come next week. Come next month. And you came. Truly, 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 it was promised. You know the man has capacity to bless you. You know the man has capacity to help you. Suddenly, Satan came in. Satan came in. Right now, I command. I command that demon that want to interfere. Demon that want to interfere. Demon that distract your destiny helper. Demon that distract your destiny helper. Demon that is against your progress. Where are they hiding? Where are they hiding? Holy Ghost. Fire! Not just cries. Fire! Not just cries. Raise fire for them. Raise the fire ten times hotter. Raise it. Ten times hotter. Ten times. I want you to. I want you to know. Let me tell you. It's not just fire that sends Satan away. Ten times hotter fire. Ten times hotter fire. Oh yes. Nebuchadnezzar. He told them. He said, When you, when you, when you worship God here, we will throw you into the fire. But when they refuse to bow, he said, Increase the fire ten times, seven times hotter. That means. That means what fire cannot do, more fire can do them. More fire can do them some demons stays in fire but they cannot stay in more fire right now we raise the fire we raise the fire we raise the fire your prayer for many years is fire is fire and yet demon is still disturbing you that means you need a higher fire you need a higher fire right now that demon that have been interfering interfering demon demon that interferes with your wife with your husband that make you people to be provoked with each other right now we we'll raise the fire higher 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 holy ghost fire raise that fire higher right now raise it let it be hotter let it be hotter let it be hotter let it be hotter satan this is it for you this is it for you we we'll raise the fire we we'll raise the fire hotter holy ghost Fire, not the squires. Fire, the other the squires. Fire, not the squires. Fire, not the squires. Fire, don't just sit down quietly. No, we raise the fire hotter. We raise it hotter. Ten times hotter. Ten times hotter. Ten times hotter. In the name of Jesus Christ. That demon that want to interfere. That demon that want to interfere. Demon that want to interfere. Demon that has been interfering. Right now. Ah, the fire is hotter now. I feel the fire hotter now. I feel the fire hotter now. And now I go straight to the base. To the base. The base. The base. The base where the demon is hiding. Where that evil spirit is hiding. Where the contrary spirit is hiding. Ah, more fire is coming to their base now. To the camp. To the camp of that demon. The camp of the demon. We say fire. We say fire. We say fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Not the squires. Fire. Not the squires. Fire. Not the squires. Fire. Fire. Raise the fire. Raise that fire. Raise that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We raise that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not quiet. We are not quiet at all. We raise the fire. We raise the fire. Ten times hotter. Ten times hotter. Every demon that keeps interfering. People promise me nothing come to pass. People promise you nothing come to pass. People say no. No, we are for you. For better, for worse, we are for you. And suddenly, and suddenly Satan interferes. Every demon that interferes with your education. Demon that interferes with your marriage. Demon that interferes fair in your businesses oh customer were coming yesterday and suddenly today nobody's coming to the shop again nobody's coming to your business place don't be quiet raise the fire raise the fire fire we can raise it 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 holy ghost fire not the squires fire in the name of jesus christ no you will not continue to destroy me and i keep quiet satan not at all i have been given power luke 10 verse 19 he said i have given you power i have given you power power
power means fire. I have given you fire. I have given you the authority. Raise the fire right now. Raise that fire right now. Raise that fire right now. That demon that interferes. That demon that interferes. That demon that interferes right now. By the fire we have received from Jesus. By the fire and the power we have received from Jesus. We raise it upon Satan. We raise it upon demon. Right now we, we stand to challenge you. We stand to challenge you. Enough of interfering. Enough of stealing. Enough of killing. Enough of destruction. We raise the fire. Holy Ghost. Firm the new other squares. Firm the new other squares. Firm the new other squares. Let me tell you, if you continue to tolerate, if you continue to be quiet, if you continue to be mean, if you continue to be calm, I tell you the truth, Satan is a killer. Satan is a destroyer. Satan is a thief. The Bible call him a thief. Bible call him a thief. If you keep quiet, he will steal your joy. If you keep quiet, he will steal your hope. If you keep quiet, he will steal that opportunity. Right now, we are not keeping quiet. We are not keeping quiet. Satan, enough is enough. Enough is enough. We stand here to give you a spiritual warning spiritual warning spiritual warning spiritual warning spiritual warning right now we raise the fire we raise the fire we raise the fire against you satan we raise the fire against your kingdom we raise the fire against your territory we raise the fire against your plan anywhere you are hiding right now receive fire holy ghost fan no squares the no squares not the squires. I tell you, the camp of Satan is feeling it. They are feeling it now. They are feeling it in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't reduce your fire. Raise the fire. Raise the fire. Raise the fire and begin to warn Satan. Satan prophetically will give you warning. 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 This is spiritual warning. This is spiritual warning. Out of our ways, out of our career, we raise fire against you. We raise fire against your kingdom. We raise the fire against your every sin. We raise the fire against every ocean, every marine kingdom. We raise the fire right now. Right now, let me send fire to the sea. Oh, anyone that is connected, anyone, maybe you, marine spirit is tormenting you. Let me help you to raise the fire. Are you tormented by marine spirit? Spiritual husband, spiritual wife, as I raise the fire now, you will feel it in your spirit. You will feel it in your body. Right now, whoever that is tormented by any unclean demon, marine spirit, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, child man, wicked king, wicked Get queen right now, queen of the coast. I raise the fire against you and against your ocean, against your river, against your bl uh, blue sea. D right now, Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic Sea, Pacific Ocean, Dead Sea, Red Sea. Right now, I raise the fire now. Watch what happened. Anyone that is being tormented, receive fire. Holy Ghost, fed not the squires, fed not the squires, fed not the squires, fed not the squires. Fire. I tell you, if there is any connection, you will feel it. Once you feel it, you will know that there is a connection. There is a connection somewhere. I say, anyone, anyone that has link, Satan, the one that is tormenting is my spirit. If you are tormented by that spirit, right now, I have raised the fire ten times hotter. I have raised the fire. I have raised the fire. I have raised it ten times hotter. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone com connected to Leviathan, Leviathan is a water spirit. Right now, raise the fire. I raise the fire. Holy Ghost. Fan, not squires. Fan, not squires. Fan, not squires. Fan, not squires. Right now, the fire is coming down. Hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter. The fire is coming hotter and hotter. It is coming hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter. I raise that fire more than before. More than before. More than before. More. Holy Ghost. Fair, not squires. Fair, not squires. Satan and make mistake to follow you here today. Satan make mistake. It is a mistake. A full mistake for Satan. A full mistake. Satan is not aware at all that today is burning. I command the fire to be hotter than before. More than 10 times. More than 10 times. More than 10 times now. I see the fire rising above 10 times. Rising above 10 times. Holy Ghost. 
Jesus Christ, there is no mercy for that demon. There is no mercy. There is no mercy. There is no mercy. That demon that keeps interfering. You have been interfering for many years. And today, today, someone must stop it. Someone must stop it. Someone must stop the lies. Someone must stop that sinning. Someone must stop that killing. I stand there as a prophet and I stand to stop that nonsense. I stand to stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense from Satan. Stop the stealing from Satan. Stop that destruction. I stand as a priest. I stand as our intercessor i command by the fire of the holy ghost you demon enough is enough leave my people alone enough is enough enough is enough I command, I raise that fire more than before i raise that fire more than before i raise that fire more than before holy ghost fire no squires fire no squires Fair. When you finish this prayer, many of you will be lighter. You will be lighter in your spirit. You will be lighter in your body. You will be lighter because you dislodge a lot of things. A lot of things is flying out. I see many demons flying out. I see the kingdom of darkness in confusion. Right now, I want to send more fire to the camp. To the camp. Anyone that is watching me, your destiny has been tied down. Your destiny has been tied down in the sea, in the ocean, in the river. Your destiny has been tied down in the dream. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, right now by the fire of the holy ghost i raise that fire to release you many people satan has tied them satan has tied them paul and Silas were in the prison it is not only paul and Silas. many destiny are in the prison many career in the prison many are in the cage right now command anyone that have been tied down in the realm of the spirit you can't move forward you can't press forward you keep feeling satan has put chain on you satan has put evil crown on you satan has put evil mark on you right now by fire i command all satan's chain all Satan's chain over your life, Satan's chain over your career, Satan's chain, Satan's chain to be broken by fire. Fire can break chains. So, hey, listen to me. You don't need hammer sometimes. You don't need a sword to break a chain. You need fire. Fire can melt any metals. Fire can melt any metals. I raise the fire to be hotter. I raise the fire to be hotter right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Fed, squires. Fed, not squires. Fear, not squires. Fear, not squires. I command judgment upon them right now. And I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost, anything that has been holding you down, or whoever that is surrounded by negative atmosphere, negative climate, negative climate, climate that brings shame. There are climate that can bring shame, pain, difficulty to men. Right now, every evil climate, evil climate, ungodly climate, ungodly climate, you move, you say, people hate me. Nobody likes me. Nobody cares about me. Oh, yes, there's a, there's a climate. Hatred. Hatred is a side effect of a negative climate. Hatred. Hatred. Stagnation. Setback. They are side effects. They are not the major problem. It is the evil climate that can be upon a man. When favor is upon you, men begin to like you. Men begin to help you. Men begin to assist you. When men don't help you, check your climate. Check your climate. I command. I send fire to your atmosphere. I send fire to your atmosphere. I send fire to your atmosphere. Right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I send the fire of God's judgment. Every evil atmosphere that surrounds you, right now, receive fire. Receive fire. Holy Ghost, fire, not squires. Fire, not squires. Fire, and not squires. In the blood of Jesus Christ, evil atmosphere come to an end. I say evil atmosphere come to an end. That evil atmosphere, it come to an end this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fire, and not squires. In the blood of Jesus Christ, you evil atmosphere, wherever you are, I command them to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for a certain people, a certain people. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace, oh, there is a grace that make Esther a village girl to become a queen that grace that grace that esther's anointing that can make a village man a village woman to take that village person to the palace may that grace rest upon you esther's anointing esther's anointing esther is from the forest esther is from the village esther is from a local house a local place from shushan shushan adasa from shushan shushan is a village is a village in the bible here comes esther a village girl being raised to the palace right now that grace that take men from grass to grace from glory to glory let that grace rest upon you let that grace rest upon you you need to be transported from poverty to blessing you need to be transported
transported from sickness to good health. You need to be transported from pain to freedom. You need that grace right now. I command that grace of Esther. Esther's grace. Esther's grace. A grace that transports a man from the bush into the city. A grace that transports man from being a local man to an international man. A global person. I say let that grace rest upon you. Let that grace rest upon you. Let that grace rest upon you. You don't need to pay any bribe. Oh, Esther did not pay bribe. There was a grace. There was a grace. Your grace is your bribe. Your grace is your bribe. If you can have that grace, that Esther's anointing, it will transport you to your future. It will transport you to your future. I say receive that grace. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, receive that grace. Esther's anointing grace. Esther's anointing from nowhere to somewhere. From nowhere to somewhere. From nobody to somebody. From nobody to somebody. Man of God, I don't have any connection. Carry Esther's anointing. Carry Esther's anointing. Carry Esther's anointing. Esther's anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for a certain group of people. Are you a young woman, a young man? You are struggling to have structural establishment. You are trusting God to have a house of your own. You are trusting God to be able to make a living. You are trusting God. You want to settle down. You want, you want a good life for yourself. You are a young man, a young woman here. Every young man and women, I want to pray for you. I know how strenuous it is for a young man to settle down, for a young woman to settle down in our world today, in our world today is this is a terrible thing right now i pray for you any young man and young woman who are trusting god for establishment you are praying i say god said to me in my education said to me in my career said to me you are trusting god for a good job you are trusting god to be able to have house a car just a normal life to be able to be stable in life right now i command grace for establishment grace for establishment grace for establishment the bible said ah you should believe in god and you shall be established you shall be established believe in your prophet and you shall prosper i stretch my hand right now the grace for establishment for young men and young women grace for establishment grace for establishment grace for establishment i command you to be established be established be established be established be established be established in the name of jesus christ in the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, you need that grace for establishment. You need that grace for establishment. You need a life that will help you to serve God. You need a life that will help you to be focused. Not every young man and woman want to live a life that is ungodly. No, many are decent. There are many young decent people in our midst. There are many young decent people in the world and they want to be established. They are trusting God for a good job. They are trusting God for a good career. They are trusting God for a good husband, a good wife. There is nothing bad about it. I say we see grace of establishment grace of establishment structural establishment marital establishment spiritual establishment marital establishment establishment in all angle physical establishment i say receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus christ i command you to be established i command you to be established i command you to be established in the name of jesus christ in the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i command anyone that is here you have been laboring for years you are not just a young man a young woman you are you are you have gotten to a stage you have gotten to the peak of your career but yet yet the only missing link for you is that you have no rest you have no financial rest you have no mental rest you have no spiritual rest you have no family rest marital rest there's no rest here many are 50 60 70 years but yet they are still worried as if they are 20 years they are still struggling they are still labor as if they are 10 years right now i command by the fire of the holy ghost that demon that will not allow you to have rest at your older age demon that will not allow you to have rest i command them to be captured in the name of jesus christ as you work for years you have been working for 10 years 15 years 20 years i say right now receive rest rest round about rest round about rest round about rest round about in the name of jesus christ it is not a testimony to be looking for money at 70 years not a testimony at all it is never god's design that at your 70 to be looking for money at your 65 80 to be looking for money not at all not at all abraham was blessed even to his old age abraham was blessed even to his old age right now i command receive financial rest receive financial rest marital rest marital rest family rest 
I command your children and children to bring rest for you. Your children, children to bring rest for you. Your children, children to bring rest for you. Your children, children to bring rest for you. Rest run about. Rest run about. Let me tell you, when you are a young man, I pray for you that you'll be established as an older person, an older man, an older woman. I pray for rest for you. Rest for the older ones. Establishment for our young ones. Establishment for the youth. Establishment for the youth. Rest for the older ones. Rest in the name of Jesus Christ. At your 50, you are supposed to be enjoying your rest. 50, you are supposed to be enjoying your rest. I say receive financial rest, spiritual rest, marital rest, family rest, family rest, family rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare every noise that comes from your children, children, right now, silence that noise. That noise, that noise of lack, that noise of difficulty, that noise, that noise of trouble, calamities. I silence them in the name of Jesus Christ. Enjoy your rest. Enjoy your rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, come out to me and I will give you rest. All that ones come to Jesus, he will give you rest in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I just feel in my spirit, I want to pray for you. Are you having any sickness in your body? There is so much fire here in this morning. Are you having any sickness in your body? Right now, I come out. Place your hand there. Anywhere you are having sickness. Anywhere you are having pain. Are you sick? Are you having high blood pressure, fever, typhoid, malaria? Whatever name they call it. Fluid. Right now, in the name of Jesus, place your hand there. Are you depressed? Yes, depression could can be called sickness. Place your hand on your chest. Are you so worried? Place your hand on your chest. Are you desperate for solution here and there? Just place your hand on your chest. Satan too can be manipulating you. Right Right now, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere there is sickness, anywhere there is pain in your body, wherever you are placing your hand, I use your hand as a point of contact. Receive healing grace. Healing grace. Healing grace. Healing grace. Healing grace. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be healed. I say be healed. I say be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In your blood be healed. In your bones be healed. In your tissue be healed. In your ligament be healed. In your system be healed. In your organs be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see that pain going out. That pain goes out. That pain goes out. Cancer go out. Cancer go out. Uh, cataract goes out. Glaucoma is out. Respiratory problem is out. Lungs problem is out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blood disease, they are out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Staphylococcus bleeding. Bleeding. Pie, fibro, they are out. Oh, barrenness is out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to rejoice. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you wherever you are. If you are watching us this morning, make sure you like, 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 like. Thank you for joining us in this morning prayer. Like the video, like the video, like, 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 and share to someone. Have you shared on your status? Why don't you share this morning? Share to someone. Share to someone. Post it. Let more people be able to see it. Someone need this prayer this morning. Someone need an upgrade from the Spirit. Someone need that upgrade. He need that upgrade this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you share to someone this morning. Share. Make sure you press the, the thumbs up button. That is the like button. And God Almighty will bless you. If you are joining us for the first time, well, this is Roadmap to Jesus International Ministry. And my name is Gustav Mada. Keep joining us every morning, every morning, every morning. Let me tell you, there is no break in prayer. When it comes to prayer, there is no break. This is a lifestyle. Take it as a lifestyle. Wake up every morning and shake the gate. Shake the four corners of your journey. And say, I tell you, break through my way. Break through my career. Break through my health. Don't just keep quiet. If you keep quiet, you will not have any record tomorrow. Satan too wants you to be quiet. Satan wants you to be silent so that he can destroy. Let Satan know. Let Satan hear your voice every morning and night. At midnight, we have midnight prayer. You can join us 8 p.m. 8 p.m. West African time. It can be your own afternoon over there. It can be your own morning over there. It can be your own night there. But let me tell you, join us. Join us. Join this chariot. Holy Spirit told Philip, say, join that chariot. This is the chariot to join. This is the place to be. Make sure you join. This ministry will strengthen your prayer life. Oh, you must not relent. You must not relent at all. And note as you are praying, Satan begins to come. Because as you are praying, as when your prayer touches Satan, he begins to come for his attack. You must pray through, pray through, pray through, pray through it, pray through it. Oh yes, and you get your final freedom. I hope you know that when it is time for a, a trophy to be given to anyone, they call it the final match, finals in match. 
And when you are in a final match, that match is always tough. So the day you decided to join this ministry with all your heart, with all your seriousness, then you see Satan physically appear to you and say, what do you think you are doing? So you must be able to know that this is a place of fire. As you are praying here, Satan is aggressive. He's so, so, so angry about you joining us every morning, joining us every night. So you must be able to pray through it and say, yes, this is my final bus stop. And I must get my freedom and I must have testimony. Here is arena of testimony. So you must be strong in prayer. Don't pray small and get weak. Pray today, don't pray tomorrow. You are toiling with Satan. No, this place will fight to the end. Prophet Tim Joshua says, when discouragement comes, don't stop. Dig deep. He says, I'm fighting through. So when you have that discouragement, I'm praying. Something is not happening yet. Let me tell you, in the spirit, something is shaking. You must dig deep and fight it through. And God Almighty will bless you as you learn how to dig deep. Christian, learn how to dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. Don't just surrender your sword and say, oh, no, 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 no. Two weeks, three weeks, no. It's a lifestyle. You will pray until miracle comes your way. You will pray until you begin to testify. You will pray and until you see the goodness of God and you test it and you can tell people about what you have tested. So God bless you in Jesus' name. So join us every morning and every midnight. And God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. If you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for your day before we go. I stretch my hand towards you and I command your day is blessed. Your day is fully blessed. As you go out to your city, you are blessed. As you go out to your nation, you are blessed. I command your nation to open up for you. Your nation open up for you. I say open up for them. My people are coming out this morning. My people are already out there this morning. Some of you are in your office already. Some of you are in your, in your, in your business place already. Some of you are on your way to work this morning. I say some of you, in few hours, you'll be going to work. I command the city to open up for you. Open up for breakthrough. Open up for lifting. Open up for freedom. Open up for redemption. Right now, wherever your blessings are, I speak to your city. I speak to your nation. This is not man's voice. This is the voice of God. That city, that nation, hear he the word of the Lord. Hear he the word of the Lord. I say open up for my people. Open up for my people. As many that are watching me right now, and many that will be watching me later, I say right now, I say open up for them. Open up for them. Open up for them. Open up for them. Open up in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. I see you testifying. Oh yes, your nation will bless you. Your nation, your nation. It is not only God blessing. Your nation can bless you. Your city can bless you. Because there is God's allocation to your nation every day. Every day. Every day. God bless your nation every day. So also people in the city are supposed to be blessed. God bless you in Jesus' name. If you are watching me and you are not yet a partner, what are you waiting for? Don't wait for a more convenient time to be a partner. Let me tell you, we can reach and we can do better than this if we come together as a family and support. Brothers and sisters, are you a partner? Make sure you become a partner today. If you are a partner, are you updated? Yes, partnership here at the Roadmap to Jesus is an assignment from God. You must see it as an assignment from God. If you see your support to this ministry as an assignment from God, you will not want to fail God because you know that souls depend on your support. Life depends on your support. We are here this morning because people supported us to be here. We can't do it alone. We need you the same way you need us. And together, we need Jesus. So let us work as a team. Brothers and sisters, never had in your heart to your support to this ministry. And God Almighty will continue to strengthen you to do more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. Your support matters a lot. It goes a long way to save more life and to give us that luxury of being able to attend to more people in Jesus' name. So thank you. If you are finding it difficult or you want to be a partner or you have any challenge, make sure you reach out to our prayer line numbers and we'll direct you on how to go about it. Don't forget, if you want one-on-one -on -one prayer, call the prayer line numbers that are displayed on your screen. We are available to pray for you. Very, very available to pray for you. Please, don't suffer in silence. Don't grow in pain. No, don't go alone in that pain. No, it is very, very important that for you to call the prayer line numbers and you'll be able to reach to me and they will even tell you on how to join the Zoom meeting as well. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Partners, we want to say a big thank you to you. A big thank you to your support. And for the price you even pay. 
because of the system of our country now, the price you pay even to be a partner, we say a big thank you to you. A big thank you to you. Heaven is increasing your reward. Heaven is increasing your reward. Just by your support, many have been saved. Many have been touched this morning. Many have been transformed this morning. We say a big thank you to all of you. All of you that have been a partner of Roadmap to Jesus. Those who have been faithful, doing their partnership with all their hearts. May God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We can't say your partnership does not count. It goes a long way. It goes a long way to make sure that we are able to do what we are doing. But Samada is not a businessman. He's not a banker. He's not a teacher. This is what we do. We are full-time ministers. 24 hours we are under this atmosphere of prayer for people, praying for people, attending to people. It matters a lot that you support so that there will, those activities will be able to to, to continue. God bless you once again for being a partner of Roadmap to Jesus. We love you and Jesus love you most. At this point, I want to leave you with this God's statement. You and your household, you are loved by God in Jesus' name. God bless you.